Isaac Yeboah. On the 1st of January 2016, Death visited the camp of her life musician Amachi Dede and took with it Amachi Dede's manager Isaac Yeboah. The accident happened at Bonsu Junction, few meters away from Paradise Resort on the Accra Kumase Highway, where the artist was built to perform in an event dubbed the Paradise Xmas Fiesta with the stars. Amachi Dede's car was reportedly parked along the road with Isaac and Amachi Dede's bodyguard standing in front of the car while Amachi Dede was inside the car changing his clothes. As he did that, another car, a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter bus with a failed brake was said to have rammed into their parked car, killing Isaac instantly, while the musician and his bodyguard sustained serious injuries. Until his death, Isaac Yeboah was also the editor of popular Ghanaian entertainment magazine PMP. Solomon Sampa On Friday, January 22, 2016, veteran actor Solomon Sampa succumbed to an illness which took his life at the age of 70. The actor known for his signature grey beard was most famed for the original Hacked TV commercial in the 1990s. He also starred in several Ghanaian movies and drama series. He was survived by a wife and eight children, four males and four females. Incomode. According to sources, Incomode died at 3 p.m. Friday, February 5, 2016, at the Tema General Hospital after battling a prolonged kidney, liver, and bladder health complications. Incomode became a household name alongside the likes of comedians Bishop Bob Okala, Ice Kinky, Ejako, and several others in the defunct K Soap concert party. He was also a member of the Crystal Asafo Drama Group. Around 2003, he traveled abroad and stayed in London for nine years before returning to Ghana in 2011. Bishop Bob Okala Bishop Bob Okala died in the early hours of Sunday, March 13, 2016, at the Koforidia Regional Hospital. Before his death, the comedian did a live performance at the Koforidia Jackson Park. He was said to have collapsed immediately after performing on the stage, although he was rushed to the hospital but he was pronounced dead on arrival. The comedian who was also popular for wearing giant sized goggles died at the age of 59. Ney Odoi Mensa The former Ghana Actors Guild president died in China Tuesday, April 12, 2016 at age 58 while undergoing kidney failure treatment. According to a report, Ney Odoi Mensa needed $300 weekly to stay alive as doctors declared both kidneys incapable of performing their key functions effectively. He also needed $25,000 for the surgery, although efforts were made to keep him alive, but he died before the treatment would yield any positive results. MC Flavor Pounds On Wednesday, May 4, 2016, popular ethereal TV series actor Lucky Azaso in Kono, aka MC Flavor Pounds, died. He was reported ill a few weeks before his shocking passing. Even some 14 hours to his death, he took to Facebook to thank his fans for their support and prayer. He wrote, Thanks to every single soul who prayed for me or wished me well. May you all have a blessed day. Hope to get better in God's name. Amen. He also posted a heart-touching message to his mother. He wrote, Mama don't cry and God willing will be fine if not, I don't know what will happen. I just pray to God to keep you alive. If not you, I am nothing. He was later buried at his family home at Adiaso in the Eastern region. MC Flavor Pounds, who died at the age of 27, played the role of a husband to diminutive actress Adra Smart in the Ephira TV series. He also made a cameo appearance in Atom's Yewo Chrome video. Daninate Gospel artist Daninati died on the dawn of Friday, 15 January 2016, after being found unconscious around 2 a.m. According to reports, he did not look sick and had prayers with his family before retiring to bed only to be found unconscious later at dawn. Until his death, Daninati was an employee of multimedia and host of Worship Zone. He was born in Accra where he developed the love for music at a tender age. He is reputed for writing songs for most gospel artists in the country. He has three albums to his credit and has ministered on several platforms with people like 
Bishop T.D. Jakes, Don Moore, Ron Winans, B.B. Winans, Ron Kenoli, Kirk Franklin, amongst others. Darcy Bray Jamuna, the Ghanaian high-life music legend, Darcy Bray Jamuna died at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital in Accra early morning of Friday, 29th July, 2016. Darcy Bray Kojo Jamuna was a high-life musician who became very popular in 1999 for his debut hit Kokoko, which featured Lord Kenya. Notable in his career was his 2006 imprisonment in the United Kingdom for possession of drugs. He was later acquitted for the offense. After his release, the artist dropped another album called A Friend in Need. George Williams On Monday, 1st August 2016, the 87 year old actor George Williams died in the morning at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital after complaining of illness at home. He was popular for his role in Ultimate Paradise TV series. George Williams was born on January 8, 1929 in Second Day. He studied acting in England but spent most of his working time as a broadcaster in Ghana, Sierra Leone, Nigeria and Liberia. Belinda Esiama The dark-skinned model was said to have died on Friday 12th, August 2016 after complaining of stomach ache. The 24-year-old model showed to limelight after emerging as a first runner-up in an Exopan New Faces modeling contest. She also featured in Yvonne Nelson's award-winning movie If Tomorrow Never Comes and other major runway events across the country. But her fame went over the roof after she was announced dead as the video she appeared on, which was Obrafo's Pampana, quickly grossed over a million views on YouTube. Reacting to her death, Obrafo in a Facebook post described her as a very patient and cooperative person on set. Kofi Medelton Mendes Next is veteran actor Kofi Medelton Mendes who died of kidney failure. He died on the evening of Tuesday 16th August 2016. The respected actor was well known for his popular key soap TV commercial and the catchphrase Sarah My Socks. He was also known for his role in No Tears for Anansi and Grey Down. The late Kofi Medelton Mendes was a lecturer at the National Film and Television Institute NAFTI and the University of Ghana where he helped train thousands of Ghanaian movie and TV practitioners. Kofi Madelton Mens turned 77 in June and was survived by a wife and three children. George Forrest Still in August, award-winning Ghanaian sound engineer George Forrest died on 31st, 2016. He died early in the morning at the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital, Kumase, after battling an undisclosed illness. The popular Kumasi-based sound engineer has won a lot of spurs in his field and owns a band called the Adipa Band. George Forrest came into the music industry at the age of 12 with Nane Champon, Akosi Ampofweje, Nana Bwajida Costa, Obapa Christie, Gifty Osei, Ohima Messi and Philip Berfi among the numerous artists he has produced their songs as a sound engineer throughout his 34-year blistering career. Omai Hinipozo the former member of Nananum Omai Hinipozo passed on in the early hours of Wednesday, September 21, 2016, after battling with a sickness believed to be brain tumor related. The artist hit the limelight in the late 90s as part of the Nananum group. They were one of the very first groups in Ghana. After leaving the group, he pursued a solo career working with highlight grace like Erama Bedu, Alaji K. from Pond, and CK Man. Confidence Keba Popular Kesban FM and TV presenter Confidence Keba died in Kumase on the dawn of October 16, 2016. The 36-year-old on-air personality was well known for his program called Breaking News. The radio personality became famous in Accra shortly after his death was announced. Vibrant Fire On Sunday, October 22nd, dancer at his Vibrant Fire lost his life in Accra when a motorbike knocked him down. Born on April 13, 1987, the 29-year-old Mampi hitmaker, whose real name is Emmanuel Kodu Koisen, died at the 37 Military Hospital in Accra, and thus joining several entertainers Ghana has lost in the year 2016. The artist who was signed on Shatter Movement Family dropped his major hit song Mampi in 2014. Katare. 
Veteran Kumawut actor Ebenezer Dunk, popularly known as Katare, died on Monday morning 14th November 2016 after battling an undisclosed sickness for the past two years. The 78-year-old actor was known for the popular Fiora television series and has starred in several local movies. He was survived by six children.